welcome to another episode of Coding Dojo. My name is Michael and today we're gonna do uh, 4Q. So this is a new level and task is called snail. So given an XN array, return the array elements arranged from outermost elements to middle element traveling clockwise. So in the other words, we have this array of two dimensions which is called matrix and so this is a representative of this so we're gonna go one two three then outside 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 and it will create this kind of snail uh, so let me show you how I see this problem how we can solve it so the way I would solve it is we we will take the first row, we will put it to, to the array, we will delete this row, and then we will be left with this this matrix here. So it will change the, the number of rows. And and then we rotate it. 90 degrees so we, this is the this is the row we we just deleted and we're gonna do the same stuff that we did before we're gonna get back to the first step here so we're gonna take the elements from first row delete them rotate it again and so on and so on so at the end we will have empty array. Okay, so let's start coding this solution. I hope it's clear. Uh, so first I will start with creating a array I don't like modifying uh, parameters and then we're gonna create the snail output which will be an empty array return snail output cool so first let's check Array. Everything is okay. All right, we have tests. Uh, let's try it. And... Okay, so we have this array. That's our given numbers. Perfect. Uh, okay, so we will start with while we look. And as I said, as every time we're gonna iterate through the through this matrix, we're gonna delete the row. So at the end, it, it will stay without anything. So I will go array dot length. So if the length is more than one, more than zero, we will continue doing that. So let's put further comments maybe. So first, take uh, first row and save it. Second, let's remove first row and third is uh, rotate ninety. And that's it, basically. Uh, okay, so let's do line by line. Take the first element from the array. Simple. First, first 
Save it. So we're gonna have this new output, which is uh, this plus the the first row value. So I will go with on cut. It takes uh, two arrays and merge them. First row. Perfect. So now we should be able to have it. The first, the first should have should be able to have the first row. Uh, let's let's move the y and see how it went. Cool, yes, yeah, so the first one should work. Second, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then we're removing the first row. So to do it, we're gonna use uh, shift. It's taking the first element and. Using that, using them, and then we rotate matrix. So it's array. Okay, and this is kind of tricky method. So what we want to achieve is to to take the the first row. And map it so instead of so so the first element will be the first column instead of the element. I'll, I will show you how it looks. So we're basically gonna map now the elements for first row. Map uh, columns. Indexes and and now we want to uh, instead of values we want to put them put their arrays with with rows because we want to uh, rotate it so map array. Okay, uh, let's see, it's, it's there. Let's okay. And let's check also before how it looked. That's true. Uh, so we want to put the if array exists, then we want to do this. Otherwise, we don't. Okay, so let's see. That was before two rows, right? And then we're saying that for for this the first row is like the first column. So take the, this value and this value. First element. Second, take this value and this value. For third, this and this. So it's like it's rotating it, but it's rotating it in, in the wrong direction. Because we want to do it clockwise. So to do it clockwise, we're gonna do this like really small modification here. We're gonna take a row length um, minus one minus index. And we're basically saying that start from the bottom, not from the beginning. 
will change the direction of the rotation. So let's do it now. Yeah, and now it's switched from because it started from the from back and to six and nine, five and eight, and four and seven. Okay. So now we have everything prepared. We just want to uncomment this loop and it should work. Yes, okay. So now it's working. Uh, yeah, I will, I will go through this code one more time. What happened here? So, first of all, we took the first row and saved it with the concatenation. Then we removed this element. So, as I showed you here, we let it remove the the element, then we rotating clockwise the, the matrix, and, and this this code right here is uh, responsible for that. This line particularly is for uh, doing the clockwise movement. So I hope you liked it, uh, that was my seventh video, and stay tuned, subscribe, like, and uh, see you next time, bye.